Good evening fellow Plexers. This evening's tutorial will be showing how to add users, both um, home users and friends. So this is my Linux desktop that I always use for my tutorial videos, but I have an Ubuntu install going in boxes. which just allows you to load virtual operating systems. So I've got Plex installed already and I learned something new today. If you use Ubuntu and you install Plex from Snaps, there's no permission issues to deal with if you have your Plex media folder in your home folder. So I have a folder called Plex Media or Plex Media-Plex and then media-public-domain and then I have some um, sort folders for movie, music, and TV libraries and then multiple libraries within that. I did not have to set any special permissions like I would have to if I wanted to install Plex in elementary OS as a dot, .deb file. I guess I could get snaps going on elementary or any Ubuntu based distro and hopefully you'd then gain the same benefit. Now I'm not 100% sure but I think if you were using um, portable drives or other hard drives you'd still have to go through the whole mounting permission nightmare that is Linux. Even though I love Linux as an operating system, permissions are tough. They should have a graphical program to let you set permissions for different um, folders on different drives. So anyway, enough of that. Let's get into how to add a couple different users. So I'm just logged in at app.plex.tv. I'm not using my normal Plex login. I'm using an extra one I created with an alternate email address so the screen doesn't get all messed up with my multiple servers or whose server I'm attached to. So we're just going to see the standard stuff, the watch list, live TV, movies and shows from Plex, Discover, Music on Tidal, and if you're helping a new user out, you need to know how to tell them how to unpin all this extra stuff. I like Discovery or Discover in the watch list, so I'll keep that and I'll get rid of Plex's free stuff and even their free live TV. So now we're just left with what I want to see. And these are all public domain movies, kid movies, one documentary, public domain TV shows, public domain kids TV shows, at least the older seasons are from 1930 and 31. And these, these are really just old movie serials, but TVDB added all of this stuff as a TV show to make it easier for us Plex people. And I have a couple really old um, musical artists in here with just one, one or two songs and I found this as a public domain album that's free to use. So go to your gear and then to add a home user and this would be this would be someone in your house like a minor child or your spouse and you don't want to create a Plex account for them. Um, you can fast switch between users. Manage library access would be adding a friend and I've added my regular Plex account and um, from that account I can see these libraries. So if we do home first Let's create a managed account and let's change this to no restrictions and I will say the name, I will make the name spouse for this. Continue. I'll give them access to all the libraries. I like to uncheck downloads because that's really only for a mobile app anyway and it's, it's nice enough that I let people watch my server. They don't need to download from it too. And a regular home user can access live TV if you have a Flex Pass and you have a tuner set up on your server. We'll click Add. 
and we'll skip the pin, but you could set a pin for your um, wife or husband or kids, and that way it would prevent them from, or it would prevent a kid from logging into your wife's login or yours. Maybe don't set one for a kid, but we're just going to skip that. So I'll create one more, and I'll call this kid 12 years old. Now you can set restriction profiles for younger or older kid or teen. So I'll click teen, but without a Plex Pass, none of this will work. You basically have to set it to none unless you have a Plex Pass. And I'll show you that in a second. So I'll hit continue and we'll give them access to well, we'll give them access to everything. Uncheck Allow Downloads. So now, right from this interface, the web interface, I can click on my account and I can switch user and I can click into the spouse's account. And every new user will get this custom um, setup screen. I'm just going to click Finish Setup. And so now, Here's the spouse account, and you can see all the media. So let's switch to the um, kid account, finish setup, and you'll notice that this account can't see all the media based on some restrictions. Now custom restrictions require a Plex Pass, but just with the, with the restric restriction we set as a teen, the teen can see the three TV shows. For some reason they can't see the kid TV show library, but my best guess is those old movie serials that are forced into a TV format because of the lucky listing at TVDB probably are not rated. So because they're not rated, it doesn't fit the profile for a teen. Or, or these shows might be a G or however it is. Same thing with the kid movies. Of all the movies in this movie library, only the Big Buck Bunny is coming through and nothing from the documentary one. So if we switch back to the main account, and we hit the gear icon and go into Plex Home and we click into the kit account and we click on restrictions and we change the team to none save changes and now if we go back into that account or that user profile now it sees all the media so some of this requires a Plex Pass to fine tune it, um, but it's it's really easy to do it this way. Let's go back to my account. We'll hit the gear, and we will go to Plex Home. Click into the Kit account, and instead of sharing all libraries, let's uncheck it. Let's just share the the kids library for movies and the kid library for um, TV shows save changes and, I, and again we have no restrictions set um, for an age so now if we switch you'll see these libraries are no longer available because we're not sharing them with the kid account but the lack of any restrictions allows unrated media that you've chosen to put into the special kids library to appear so it's really not too hard even without a Plex Pass to get it set up for a minor kid and I don't know if you got a whole gaggle of kids you could have a movie library for little kids. You could have a movie library for preteen. You could have a movie library for, or a TV show library for little kids and preteen if you want. 
and you can handle it that way. Instead of using the rating system and what kids can see based on a rating. And you just have to remember, older content might not have a rating. Older content might have an approved rating. Or just simply not have one. Alright, so let's get back into the main profile. Get back into settings. And then do the manage library access. So to add someone, you just click Grant Library Access, and you can send an invite to them by, by typing their email, or if they've already created their own free Plex account, just type their email address. And the minute you finish, you'll see them as a user, and you can just click on it and continue. Well, I'm already a user on this fake little profile that I've set up to do this video. But, and when I click into it, I can edit which libraries. And if I uncheck all, I can decide which libraries to share. So if you've got pretty poor upload, you know, maybe you're with a cable um, ISP and you've got 20, 25 megabits per second. You don't want to share 4K content with remote users, so if you had a 4K movie library, you'd simply uncheck it. Um, maybe you have, I don't know, maybe you have a separate movie library for stand-up comedy, and you're sharing it with your mom, and she'll never want to see that. And to make her screen simple, maybe you'll remove things like this, so she just sees what really interests her to not have so many library choices. So if I save those changes, well, I can't, I can't show you that without bringing something else on screen and I'd have to log out of my own, let me see if I have to log out. Yeah, so I've got the HTPC client app for my regular account here and I deselected some of these. So if I logged onto this client app and logged back in, then these would be missing. Motion detected. Well, let's see, maybe they won't Motion play. Detected. Okay, so they can't play. If I go to the movie and play Big Buck Bunny that we can't get in trouble for playing, Let me pause it so the sound doesn't bother us. You'll see in dashboard that this is playing. Now because this is under a virtual session of Ubuntu on my regular Linux desktop, it's an indirect connection. So everything's going to transcode down to a two megabit per second limit. Um, but this file isn't that big to start with. So, well, actually it's a 4K file, it is. So it's, it's an indirect connection um, and it's being forced into a software transcode. So let me um, get out of this over here. And lastly, we might as well talk about a good client app for someone using a computer. Let's see. This virtual window has me all messed up. So here's the HTPC client app installed on this virtual session of Ubuntu. And when it opens, all you see are the free Plex libraries. It's not connected to anything. So we'll go sign in. So we've got um, this code, PG2Y. So let me refresh this. So now I've linked the account and this HTPC client app is signed in and now your spouse or your kid can use their laptop or computer to view your library 
when they're home or away if you've enabled remote access on your server. So if your kid goes to college, you may want to give them their own email address so they're not really part of your home anymore and you can actually upgrade them to home at will when they come back from college and, and are staying in your house and being a member of home even with their own email address for Plex allows any device like this to fast switch between accounts. So if you're watching your own Plex server on your living room TV you simply log into your profile and this could be pin protected if you have minor kids. If you want to switch user on that that client app on your living room TV and your kid wants to start watching you simply switch user and they have the same little setup and now they're into what they can see. And lastly if your spouse wants their own separate watch list they have the same access and this is all called fast switching and anyone with their own Plex um, account can be upgraded to home to participate in this. So this is actually pretty cool. And lastly, let me, let me bring up my own HTPC client app again. So this is my regular server and I have three different servers running, but I'm, I have a choice between my Unraid server or my, my Synology NAS server, but the Unraid server points back to the same media, so everything's identical. If I go out and switch user profiles, my adult son who lives with me has his own Plex account and he can fast switch into his own profile on any device that I'm signed into with my own profile. On his own TV and Nvidia Shield, he's signed in with his profile. On my living room Sony and my Nvidia Shield, I'm signed in and he can still fast switch to his account because he's been, up, he's been upgraded to home without having to log me out. And I'm not going to type my pin code on air, but that's about it. Um, those are the different users you can do. So you have someone added as a friend or a fam family member with their own Plex server account credentials. They can still be upgraded to home. And I can't show that, but with a Plex Pass, there's a little house icon that you would click on and that would upgrade a user to home. Or you can simply add them as an in-home user without their own Plex credentials to enable fast switching. So happy Plexing and thanks for watching.